I think an important question to ask when discussing ethics is, what do we actually expect our ethics to do? Um, there are those who will tell us that ethics just exist naturally. Um, okay, my response to them is, prove it. Um, or morals, or whatever you want to call it, right and wrong. Okay, prove it. <laughs> um, and prove it without requiring coercion. <laughs> I guess that's a little bit more important. Um, secondly, I guess I would ask, should we be the servant of our ethics, of our ethical system? In other words, should we be beholden to them? Should we place them above us? Um, the image of uh, a congregation or a group of Orthodox Jewish people dancing with the two scrolls, the Torah, I guess, and the Talmud, the way that that gets treated, uh, or the Quran or something like this, or even the crowds waving Mao's little red book. Should our morals and ethics be our servants, or should we serve them? Well, I certainly believe that Morals and ethics are our tools, and we have created them to do things for us. If our ethical system ceases to do that, or our morals cease to do that, we'd better get new morals and ethics. <laughs> um, I guess that's... Uh, that's really the point of departure, I suppose, between what I see as the free thinker and, I don't know what you call it, the believer.